Hey everybody! Welcome, welcome to everybody out in Facebook world and everybody out in YouTube world. We have a really cool topic for you guys today and I'm really excited to share it with you and this is something that comes up all the time with experienced agencies and those new agents that have a big appetite to really take the travel industry by storm. So on today's show we're talking about the experts that million dollar agencies have in place. Who do they have on their team? What are what, Who are those people? Where do you find them? So we're going to talk about the exact team that you need to have in place to get your travel business to seven figures and be beyond in sales. So if you want to assemble an expert team to create massive growth, if you want to know exactly the experts to have in place to grow your agency to six figures plus a year in sales, if you want to know what experts can protect you from catastrophic events in your business, if you want to know how to vet people to add to your well, we're going to call it the A team. And if you want to save a ton of money as you build your team or figure out how you can do it in a way that works for your budget, keep on watching because we're going to talk about all of that on today's show. By the way, guys, if you are new uh, to the live stream, I want to encourage you to subscribe. We do shows to help you grow and build your travel business every single week. So please think about uh, subscribing on YouTube. That's where you can find all of our content. This is a live stream, so it's also over on Facebook, but we do a whole bunch more over on YouTube. So make sure you take a minute and subscribe. I'll drop the link below after the live stream ends today. But let's get started. If you guys are new, first of all, my name is Cindy Williams. I am kind of like um, uh, an old school veteran in the travel industry. I have been doing this. I'm celebrating my 25th year since I started. I own my own amazing award-winning travel agency called Tripsy Travel, and I also own Cruise on Vacation. We got new shirts today. Do you guys like them? Cruise on Vacation is the uh, place to get all of your education, programs, mentorship to help you grow and thrive. We help people grow and supersize their travel businesses all the time, and that is how I do my day-to-day. -day. This is part of my advocacy work, the live streams that we do, and I'm so glad that you're here. I always say, uh, just know two things about me. I love fun earrings that I get when I travel, and I love coffee mugs, and today, you guys, can you stand this mug? I mean, is anyone else shopping more on like travel places or like the Disney uh, Disney store online? I'm going crazy because I'm, we're, we're booked for November, so I'm excited about that. But um, I'm doing a little more shopping than normal, but how could you say no to this mug? So anyway, you know all there is to know about me. Let's get started into today's content. Experts, who do you need on your team to get your agency to that million dollars level in sales? How do you assemble an A team? So let's talk about who is critical to have on your team. Um, besides my travel business, I've also owned other businesses in my long career. And no matter what type of business you're in, there are a few essential people you should always have in place. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is that you have a good CPA or a great accountant to help with that bookkeeping. And if you're like me, like I hate doing books, so I outsource that piece, but having a great CPA on staff, a great accountant on staff can save you from so many troubles. Um, when we had our franchise business years ago, we, this was different, it was a non-travel related business, it was amazing, uh, and, and we loved it for the time that we had it, but we worked with an accountant that was kind of new into accounting and she wasn't really great about keeping track of deadlines and we actually missed a quarterly tax payment. That's like a big deal if you've ever had that happen. This was actually a business where you have employees. Travel agencies these days are usually a different model. You're hiring contractors and things. But at that time we had employees and we didn't realize because we thought we were paying her to file this stuff and she'd filed it in months past, but she missed the deadline. So not only did we miss the deadline, we had a we had like huge fees. And this was in the middle of the recession when we were like, oh my gosh, we were just starting out growing our company. Huge mistake. So we really learned from that, like we need to get a better person on staff. And um, you know, it's kind of one of those get what you pay for kind of things. So we upgraded uh, our CPA who cost more money, and we but we've been with that CPA now for over a decade 
and um, everything works flawlessly. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to lose sleep at night. Everything gets done according to schedule. They send us reminders, all of that good stuff. So having, uh, even if you haven't made your first sale yet, you still want to think about having that person in place. And also as you grow, there's different tax advantages that you'll be eligible for as a business, or sometimes it makes sense to become an S corp, or do you want to be an LLC or does it make sense to be a sole proprietor? Dependent on your personal situation and how you want to organize, you really want to have those conversations with a CPA before you just make a call on it because what's best for you and your family might not be the same cookie cutter approach for the person next to you and I see all kinds of people giving and by the way I don't give tax or legal advice ever we're just talking about the fact that you should go out and get great tax advice and get great legal advice but I see the craziest things on some of these feeds where people say well I just did this or here's how I get around this and I'm like oh my gosh they're breaking the law like that's and this is on a public feed with hundreds of people following it and I'm just going Phew, like that's so crazy so don't get your accounting or legal advice from feeds on Facebook like don't do it it's not a good idea because at the end of the day if your name is signed on that paper and you're the owner of the company you are responsible for doing things the correct way so having a CPA is one of those things that can keep you from a catastrophic event so make sure you have that person in place Next person you should really have in place is a legal professional. You probably won't need them a ton at the beginning, but as you grow and add team members, or if you want to grow a team or grow an agency, and you get into things like hiring contracts or how to charge fees to clients or uh, how do I have them sign a waiver, different things that are important, you want to make sure that you just pass them through a legal professional in your state because states are different, right? Florida has seller of travel. California has seller of travel in three other states. So they have different regulations dependent on where you sit in the country and also who you, if people are residing in those states, there's things you need to know. So it's a good idea to, to, it, for have a legal professional set your company up if you are going to uh, become a legal entity, right? Because then you form that relationship and then as you grow. So at the beginning, it might just be paying them to do that setup piece, but at least you've established a relationship and now you can move forward and as, you're, you, an agent, as you grow as an agency, they can either refer you out to someone who does it at their law firm or maybe that's something that they cover too, um, whether it's employment law or hiring agreements or different things that you might need access to in the future establishing that relationship early on is really good. So have a legal professional in your pocket. This is not someone you're paying every day or talking to every week. These are occasional things, but have them on your immediate team, right? So you have access to them if something pops up. Again, it's one of those peace of mind things. So that's really important. So next, who else is on this dream team of this growing, these growing mega agencies? The next thing you need to think about are marketing experts. So many times, and this is where our industry is so far behind because I've run other businesses and because I've been privy to how people are marketing because I go to a zillion marketing conferences every year. This year they're all canceled. Some of them are virtual, but because I go to these marketing conferences, I mean, I can tell you there are plumbing services and maid services that do a better job of online marketing than the typical home-based travel agency or even travel agent because you guys just don't know how to do it. And I get it, learning is hard. It's like learning a whole nother world right now. I'm gonna take a pause for a moment and say thank you to all the educators out there starting school back this month and next month across the country because they're, some of them are having a rough time. I saw a post yesterday that said, hey, my dad's a teacher and he's 55 and he is so nervous and he's practicing outside of hours to make sure things are good for his student. And I was like, oh my God, my heart was like broken open because I'm like, yeah, all these teachers that have te taught for 20 years are having to get on video. Oh my gosh, like I do video every day. I train video every day, so it's not a big deal. But I see the struggles that people go through to hit that record button the first time and teachers are being asked to like train in this whole new format. They're having to learn new stuff guess what? You signed up to be a, a business owner, a travel entrepreneur. You're going to have to learn new stuff all the time. I'm 25 years in and I am learning every single day. I have, of course have a team of experts. Just yesterday we have every month we have a call with our A team of experts 
and I say, who's working on this? Who's working on that? Where are the stats on this? And they're still teaching me and training me saying, Cindy, we need to connect this here and do this and we can get more optimization if we do. You're always, you to be a successful entrepreneur in general, you need to commit to lifelong learning. It's part of the process if you wanna grow. But having this team in place allows you to get some of it out of your headspace, right? So marketing experts are important. Now you don't need a marketing expert for everything under the sun. In fact, I don't recommend that you go to every single platform like Snapchat, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, right? There's a gazillion of them out there. You need to commit to two or three and do them really well. That will get you more conversion in your agency. We spend over a hundred grand a year on experts and ad testing just so we can turn around in our careers on vacation mastermind and say, here's what you should do. Here's the quickest way to, to cash or quickest way to abundance via our, because we've tested it in our own travel agency, right? So, but if you commit to two or three of those and do them really well, then you're, instead of having six or seven people, you can start with, maybe you start with one and then you add a second one when you're ready and when your finances allow. So we'll get into finances and how to kind of scale it up here in a second. But having marketing experts, like if you're not getting conversion out of Facebook, if you're not converting out of YouTube, if you're not converting out of whatever platforms you're using, you either need to dump the platform or figure out what you're doing wrong. And every Every single, this is, came up on our mastermind call yesterday. I didn't plan to talk about this, but our mastermind call yesterday with all of our careers on vacation students went into a rabbit hole of like how to optimize each platform differently and why you do this on Facebook and why you do this on Instagram and why you do this on YouTube and why you do this on the other ones, blah, blah, blah because it is a different strategy. To get conversion, it is a different strategy and each one has their own language. Each one has their own optimization. Each one has their own uh, call to actions, if you will. So of course you might not know all of that stuff because if you're new to marketing or you've never done online marketing, it can be completely overwhelming. So introducing an expert that can guide you through and help you through that process becomes instrumental in growth, okay? So just know that investing in that type of person is normal. I'm gonna talk about in a second how to vet people so you don't do what I did at the beginning and hire a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing and waste a bunch of money. So I'll get into how to vet them here in just a second. But I want to talk about the last and maybe most important person on your team, and that is to have a mentor, either a mentor in the industry or someone that understands our industry. Of course, I coach through Careers on Vacation, so selfishly, I'm going to put a plug in. If you want to work with me, you can go to careersonvacation.com and get all of our free resources and find out about that. But even if you're not working with me, that's okay. I'm still going to wish you so much love and abundance, but I want you to find a mentor that you resonate with you, with the resonates resonates with you. If I don't, that's fine. Find someone who does. If I do, great. Go follow the path to careersonvacation.com. But the point is what a mentor does for you and what we do for everyone every day in our programs is one, open them up to their own potential. Sometimes the answer is right in front of them, but they can't see it because they're tied into old thought patterns or they've been doing things for five or 10 years or they're going into it with not knowing the questions to ask. It's always the ones you guys don't know to ask that get you in the most trouble. Like who knew you could make tax errors until you watch this webinar today, right? Or live stream today or whatever the thing might be. So helping people guide them through the roadmap, like I've spent 25 years making the mistakes, my agency is in a you know, well-oiled machine where it's operating, award-winning, creating a major abundance, my husband and I work from home. You learn from someone who is doing exactly what you want to do, right? If you wanna work from home 100% of the time, if you wanna have seven plus figures in sales. If you want to, you know, create a full-time income from travel, make sure your mentor is doing that, right? Find someone who's doing it and learn from them so you can replicate their success. I have worked with so many amazing mentors in all my different businesses that, have, that I have owned. I always find the person who's doing it the biggest and the best. And it really, the cost really doesn't matter because I know if I can replicate what they're doing, I'm gonna have the same result. So I've always been a big fan of mentors to, to up leveling wherever you're at. So that's the last person on the team that I think is really critical. So I wanna ask you guys a quick question. I have a little poll for you. 
tell me of that at the team we just went through cpa legal professional marketing experts which is like you know depending on which platform you want to really optimize first or a mentor which one do you feel like you would if you could snap your fingers and have in place on your team tomorrow which one would be most important to you just tell me in comments below i'm just curious that helps me also to build more content for you guys uh, because if, if marketing experts or mentor or legal professional, whichever one it is, maybe we'll make more videos on that. So take a second and just uh, comment on that for me, if you don't mind. I go back and read every single comment, uh, both on Facebook and YouTube. I'm just curious. So coming up next, let's talk about how to vet these experts, right? Like, oh, the good news is you don't pay all of these people all the time. Like a CPA, once you have them established, you just pay them if you need advice through the year and then when they do your taxes, right? So that's not like an ongoing expense. Legal professional, kind of the same thing. Set up and then it's as you go if needed. And you know, vetting is so important though, whether it's a legal professional or a CPA or marketing experts is where I see people make mistakes, right? So I wanna talk through like the big mistakes that I see and how to avoid them. One, these are marketers. Don't fall for flashy marketers. <laughs> so many times we'll, I'll log in, I'll, you know, it'll be some Instagram or Facebook person. They're like, I'm going to teach you this travel thing. Da, 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 da. I'm going to teach you this, that, or the other. And then when I, when I start digging into like, well, have they worked with agencies? Have they worked in the industry? Do they own their own travel agency? Do they, have they, have they worked with travel industry clients that are getting results? And are those results documented somewhere? So you don't just fall for the flashy marketing is kind of step one when you're vetting. The second thing to understand going into hiring any expert, and this is one we see all the time, you get what you pay for, right? So, and I made this mistake admittedly, like you're all on a budget, we all have tight resources. And when I started looking for Facebook expert is probably the pr first example, I went through like three and I was like, oh, let me pay this one that only charges 600. Let me pay this one that only charges 800. Let me char pay this one that only charges XYZ. And I just had horrible results because they didn't understand our industry. They didn't understand our client base. They had never worked in the travel arena before. Um, and even with me trying to work with them, they just, it's, I got what I paid for, right? Like they weren't as experienced as I was hoping for. So the prices sometimes dictate what the quality is going to be, if that makes sense. Not always, but that's been my experience. So when I finally like ponied up and found my most amazing uh, uh, Facebook expert, I was like, oh man, this is a lot of money. It's more than I've ever paid for an expert, right? But I'm like, I'm gonna test it for three months. I'm gonna test it for three months. And lo and behold, yes, even with that person, I had to introduce them to their industry, but because they per they're they charging a higher fee, I got more of that concierge experience and we started to make big progress. And then that money that we were spending every month didn't feel like anything. By the way, these numbers like I'm quoting guys are the numbers before you give them money to spend for your budget. That's why experience is so important because let's say you let's say you hire someone for a thousand bucks a month to run uh, Facebook, right? That thousand dollars is their money for their family to because that's what they're doing. They're helping you. They're paying you. They're running your ads. They're doing you know testing and all of those things. They're gonna tell you, look, it's a 30, 60 day test period to get into here and understand what's going on. And I need a budget of a minimum of usually a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred so now you're talking about twenty five hundred three thousand just for one platform to get that rolling so i'm going to tell you guys how to bring those costs down in a few minutes so hang out for that but it just know that that like that's why you're seven figures right that's why agencies are selling seven figures because they're putting money behind getting online leads so a lot of you veterans out there are having a tough year a lot of you have reached out to me to say I had this I had this base of amazing clients. I never had to market because I had so many clients traveling. A lot of my clients are maybe a little bit older or they're in this group that doesn't want to travel right now. So now I'm having to like scramble and figure out how do I get more leads. I'm, I feel for you because you don't need help being an agent. You don't need help like converting or being, you just need someone to call your phone and want to book a trip, right? you got to do this marketing stuff. This is what will bridge the gap in this tough year for you guys. So you got to double down on marketing. So let's keep going on um, vetting because there's a lot more things that I would like you to do to save yourself money, right? Um, 
check their years of experience. How long have they been doing this? What type of results are their clients having? Do they know our industry? Have they worked in travel? That can be a big deal because if you have someone that's tested budgets with 10 other travel agencies, then it's not as hard of you like they have some results right and then are their results documented do they have some type of case study process do they have um customer case studies reviews like we cruise on vacation we have over 75 video testimonials of how we helped people grow their travel business you can if you're watching on youtube you can check that out later but we uh when someone says hey we had this great success they come to us and go i'd love to share this with your community we put it out there so people can say look if you work with us we're this is the kind of results we're having is it documented somewhere that they're having success that'll just make you feel a little bit better about your decision Another thing you should do is go over to either their Facebook business page or their Google page and check their reviews. Are they at least a four star or higher, right? We have over 55 star reviews for careers on vacation on both Google and Facebook. So your company reputation is important because that tells people, you know, they're not going to be able to build that many awesome reviews unless they're really creating results for people. So vet whoever you're going to hire. There's nothing more disappointing than putting out even 500 dollars or a thousand dollars for someone and getting zero results back that is the worst thing so make sure you're vetting people the other thing you want to ask any of these experts if you get to interview stage is how do you measure results so like for a marketing person for example like it might be click-through rate it might be your reach on Facebook it might be your cost per click it might be the analytics it might be how many people are clicking through to my website what what are what are those things are gonna report to you on every like I meet with my experts every two weeks and they say here's where we're trending we're above we're below here's what's going on in the market and we look at that data I do not run my business on feelings. I run my business on numbers. And so many times when we work with new agency owners that have had some great success and kudos to you if you have, but if you're really gonna get serious about exploding your business, you have to run it by numbers. So looking at those numbers on a regular basis with the person who understands them and can walk you through, hey, we're getting more costs for this or this one's costing us too much. Should we shut it off? Should we adjust it? Making those decisions based on numbers is how you save money and get better results. So. I could have a whole video on running your business by numbers and there's probably some on YouTube, but at any rate, you guys get the idea. So we've talked about vetting. The next thing I wanted to share with you is how do you save money? You're like, Cindy, oh my gosh, I couldn't even afford one expert. Like, I get it. This is a tough year for a lot of you, especially if you didn't know how to really market online well for COVID and now you're getting into this pandemic and you're like, how do I, there are people willing to travel, but how do I find them, right? So getting marketing in place is job one in terms of growth and we have other videos about that but I'm going to give you a couple ideas on how you can save money and do this process a little bit slower whatever's going to work for your finances or budget the first thing is you can hire one at a time you don't have to do the whole team at once like if you're not, if you're brand new make sure you have the accountant and the legal like that's like prerequisites for going forward right but beyond that if you're going to um, hire an expert, you can do it one at a time. So decide and commit to one platform and then once that one's having success and earning you some abundance, then you can add the second platform and the third platform and you can kind of grow from there. Or you can think about <laughs> working with a good mentor that packages this stuff together, right? That's a great way to do it. Like at Careers on Vacation, my team helped me grow from six figure, multiple six figures a year. We were already at, I did that on my own, but they got me to six figures a month, guys. And I'm not talking sales, I'm talking like income, right? So, whoa, like, phew, and yeah, I pay a lot of experts, but I, ha I have a lot of results behind that. So, but what we do is we, to make it super affordable for our clients in careers on vacation is we have the best Facebook expert. We have the best social media expert. We have the best branding expert. We have the best mindset person. We have the best messaging person. We have those people and we, you, and we, you, we have them in our programs communicating with our clients. You get access to that team. So for a fraction of what you would pay 
to have an expert on staff just for a few months, you get all of those experts and you get access to them to start or grow your agency. We have two learning tracks. So if you're brand new, we do kind of a startup phase and go through a 12 week program. If you are already experienced, we have an experience track where we assess where you're at and figure out how to supersize you. But that allows a lot of people access to the best people. Not a lot of people could say, oh, I have a $10,000 budget to start paying experts next month, plus another 5K or 10K on top of that to do marketing, right? That's not like, I'm there, but it took me years to get there, right? So the normal average person starting from home is like, look, I have a much smaller investment level to kind of get started. So you could do it that way too. Think about um, careers on vacation. We will hook you up with all of those experts. Uh, we I can't promise admission to careers on vacation. I want to say we've had like huge attendance through this COVID thing because everybody's like, I need to learn. I need to get in class. I have more time. But we do have some spots going into late August and early September. So you can uh, apply by going to careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now. If you haven't heard about careers on vacation before, we are an ASTA affiliated travel school. Um, I already mentioned you get access to our team of experts. Our curriculum is self-paced. It's all online and you get lifetime access to our membership site, which is so important because, for example, Facebook is changing all of their stuff really soon. My students who took the program two years ago that have our membership site, they just log in and get the new information. So it's kind of like an evergreen program. So you get access to the curriculum ongoing and the way that social media changes is really key because even this during this season my graduates are going I'm going back through the program again from start to finish because so much has changed and we've updated the curriculum right so uh and then of course we have our 75 plus case studies like vet me go google us go check our facebook reviews go watch 20 of those case studies to see what we're creating out in the industry. Um, and whether it's you work with me or you vet someone else, I hope that these tools have been helpful for you guys. That really was my purpose with this um, whole model because having the right team in place, having that A team in place has really just driven our business to uh, so beyond. I have um, one of my grads came back to me last week and said, Cindy, I'm still selling six figures a month in the middle of this pandemic because I'm using what you taught me in careers on vacation three years ago. And this is an agency that's built up to to like 30 plus ICs and all that good stuff. So um, the results are out there, guys. It is possible. I know you have to learn this new skill of online marketing and assembling this A team and doing things a little bit differently than maybe you've done them in the past, but I promise you can do it. I have so much faith in you. I wish you so much love, so much abundance. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell over on YouTube because on Fridays, we're putting secret more training content on over at YouTube. You won't get it here on Facebook. Um, so definitely definitely go over and do that. And guys, I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for being part of the live stream. And I'm going to go back and read all the comments as well. And I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye guys. guys. Um, so great. We have an amazing show planned for you today. Uh, on today's show, I'm answering all of your top questions, all the questions we've been getting in from Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Messenger, all of the different places that you guys follow us. There are some common themes to questions right now. So I thought let's dedicate a show to uh, answering those questions. So if you've been asking yourself, is now really the best time to get into the travel industry and start my travel business? Or is now really the best time to double down on doing things to grow my business? We're gonna answer all those questions for you today. So uh, if you want to figure out what you should be doing, uh, decide if now is the right time or not for you, if you wanna weigh the pros and cons, then keep on watching. We're gonna cover all of that today. Uh, real quick guys, if you're not already, uh, we made a big change last month. We are doing custom content over on YouTube to help you grow and scale your travel business. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell 
over on YouTube so you can get notified every time we have custom content. Today is a live stream, so I do these every Wednesday to connect with you guys, answer some extra questions, but I we used to do our training content here in the live stream format. It's moving over to YouTube, so if you don't want to miss anything, make sure that you do that. So let's get started. Again, welcome. If this is your first time uh, watching the show and you're like, who is this lady uh, with this fantastic travel mug? <laughs> My name is Cindy Williams. I started in the industry over 25 years ago and I have a huge passion for travel. At 20 years old I had my first million dollar sales year in the industry. I have been uh, working at marketing, growing businesses for a long time and uh, I own my own award winning travel business called Tripsy Travel. So everything that I train and teach you has actually been tested in a real agency. Isn't that important when you're, when you're learning from someone? Uh, and what I do today is I also own Careers on Vacation and I am the CEO of that company which helps people launch, grow, and supersize travel businesses all over the world. So I always really just share one fun thing about me, one or two, which is I love fun earrings. These ones are actually here from here in Austin. They're made from the same metal they make the uh, space shuttles out of. Like uh, a former astronaut created the company. I thought that was amazing because I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. And then I always share a fun coffee mug. This guy, you guys, I mean, and I just opened up, I, when I got dressed today, I was just, I don't know, uh, like have, yellow was on my brain. I was channeling yellow today. This is from Banana Patch Studios. This is not a sponsored post, but I love their coffee mugs. I got my first mug from them when I actually was in Kauai. And I don't know about you, a lot of us are facing cabin fever with <laughs> the quarantine and not traveling as much as we're used to. So I've been having like Hawaii days and Disney days and we're just doing these different theme days at our house and today I woke up and it's a Hawaii day today. So I have my fun mug from Banana Patch Studios and uh, that's fun. So go check them out later. But let's get into today's content. What are the top questions we are getting right now about starting or growing a travel agency in this weird, crazy environment of this year? So I want to talk through all of those. So the number one question we're really getting right now is real is now really the right time to be starting a travel business. Some people think it's crazy. Some people think it's the perfect time. I'm going to go through no matter if it's a travel business or not. My husband and I have owned several successful businesses, six multiple six figure businesses. And uh, we love travel, so that's what we do 100% of the time now. But whenever we're considering a business purchase or an acquisition or starting a company, we really consider a couple key factors. So from a consultant perspective, whether you were thinking about travel or not, this is kind of the line of questioning that I think about before I would consider any business and travel is not excluded. Yes, I'm passionate about it, so it's gonna get a pro in, in that box, right? But the first thing that I really think about is, is it a viable business, right? Is it a business that's viable? So if we put that in the travel world and look at pre-COVID what travel was doing, it was something like an $8 trillion industry worldwide, are you kidding me? One of the biggest industries in the industries in the world, it was outpacing healthcare and tech. So, um, and that's from the world uh, trade stats that we pulled those from. So, is it a vi is it viable? Yes, there's a lot of money to be had. People want to travel. People are waiting to travel. Yes, there is. A, just like anything else, there's a down period in the market right now because things are closed. People are nervous. Some of those things are happening. That's the reality. It doesn't mean that everybody is, and we'll get to that in a second. But look at Disney. Like in the last week, did you guys hear about this? Even though Disney is down billions of dollars, their stock prices are rising, right? Because people know there's going to be a return. So is it viable for the long term? And the answer to that is yes. People are not going to stop traveling. People travel for work, for business, for pleasure, for leisure. There were a ton of studies done a few years ago that said people would rather like stop eating out than they would take away their, their annual vacations, right? So is it viable? Yes. And I feel like there's going to be a really, uh, there's going to be an uptick as soon as things kind of release because people are chomping at the bit. I mean, think about 
I don't know about you, but who else has 18,000 emails from school? If your kids are starting school in the next few weeks, like parents are homeschooling, teachers are in this new environment. God bless the teachers, by the way. If you are a teacher, you work in education, kudos to you. You're amazing. Thank you for taking care of our children and navigating this new crazy world. But point being is, you know, and oh my gosh, think about healthcare uh, across the world. Everyone's gonna be ready for a vacation, right? So is it, a vi is it a viable model? That's what I think about. Yes, travel's a viable model. The second thing we think about when we're assessing any business is we really look for recurring business models. What does that mean? Is this a business model where someone's gonna buy something one time and never do business with you again? Or is it a business model where it's something, if you do a good job, they're gonna come back again and again and again. This is something when we had our cleaning franchise uh, 10 years ago, we this it checked the boxes. People need their house cleaned every week or every two weeks or whatever cadence that they like to have their house cleaned on. So it's a recurring business model. Travel is also a recurring business model. If you do a good job, people travel one, two, three, sometimes more vacations a year. If you're their agent, you're going to be the one that's building that relationship and it's a recurring business model if you do it properly. So that's a check in the yes, I like this business box, right? The next thing I look at is, is there a need? So this question is funny right now, right? Because some of you are on such different landscapes and people are going, there's not gonna be a need, travel's shutting down, the whole world's crashing. I'm on, I'm not in that camp, as you guys know. Like I'm already, we have trips booked, I'm booking trips for people, I have clients on vacation right now, so. And look, there's no judgment wherever people are. You have to recognize people are in different stages with if they are ready to travel or not nothing wrong and we're not going to start a debate on that today because there's different schools of thought but is there going to be a need in this new climate and there here's what so many people aren't thinking about but there's been major articles from forbes usa today travel weekly all the big guys are talking about the importance of using a travel agent and travel advisor in this new environment why are they talking about this? For a couple of reasons. One, all of the crappy, crappy service that the large online, the OTAs, the large online travel agencies like Expedia, Priceline, some of those guys just shut their phones down when this whole thing happened. But the bigger thing that's even happening now, besides that new market share wanting to work with agents, is the landscape for travel has just changed overnight. It is more complicated to book travel. It is more confusing to book travel. It is frustrating to book travel in some cases, just ask a travel agent, right? <laughs> but whenever you can help someone solve a problem, you can charge them for it, right? People don't wanna sit on the phone with the airlines for two hours, or in the case when it first happened, seven, eight hours, right? They don't want to research the what's changing with going to Hawaii every five minutes, right? There's so many fluid things happening in the industry right now. If someone wants to go to Hawaii or Italy or Disney or whatever, there's so much information to research through to make sure that, that their vacation is gonna kind of happen without a hitch. It's not just turning on your computer, booking a trip and going anymore. You can book a trip, but you're, you have to monitor what are the updates, what's going on with world health, what's happening, you know, all of those things. That is what, that is where we shine. That is where travel agents save the day. So is there a need in terms of the next question with uh, my little checklist? Holy crap, there's never been a bigger need. I mean, really, I've been doing this for 25 plus years. And I can tell you because we were looking for our own trip over Hawaii for um, for the holidays and I was like, whew, I gotta check a lot of things. There's a few more steps in here, even as a very skilled travel agent, right? To go, yeah, I, I, I hope clients don't, it's almost like I hope clients don't try to do this themselves <laughs> because there's so many little mistakes they could make, right? So is there a need? Yes, there is a huge, there's a huge need uh, arising in the industry. So that is a good thing if you are thinking about doing this. Um, the next thing I really want you to think about and it's always on my checklist because I am full of ideas. I'm an entrepreneur. I love new projects. I love to chase all the big shiny things. I love to research. But what I really always ask myself before I take on something new and you should ask yourself too, do you have the time to dedicate 
to doing this. Um, the beauty of this question is six months ago, people were like, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. But in today's environment, a lot of you are working from home. A lot of you don't have to commute. A lot of you have a little more extra time that maybe you can dedicate it towards creating your business. So for those reasons, if I had to weigh on one side or the other, I absolutely think it's an amazing time to start a travel business. The other thing is that a lot of you don't think about, it doesn't happen like a seven day process. I know there's like stuff out there. It's like, Oh, start your business in seven days. Like you can turn on some logins in seven days. Sure. You can do that. But are you going to have systems, automation, marketing plans, sales, best practices, a video strategy? Are you going to have all of that stuff set up in a few days? No, that takes time. So in order to be positioned properly in the market to take advantage of everything that's happening right now, take advantage as stuff reopens up, absolutely now is the right time. Not when it opens up, then you've missed the boat. So um, the other thing I wanna say is whenever you're thinking about something new or if you're becoming an entrepreneur for the first time, the word ready is a lie. The word, the, the phrase perfect conditions is a lie. You're never gonna be 100% ready to do anything. I never have on anything that I do. I'm always like, oh, should I do this? I'm gonna go for it, right? Ready is a lie, perfect condition. The time is never gonna be perfect, right? So many clients six months ago said, oh, Cindy, I really wanna do this, but I'm so busy with work, I'm busy with the kids, plus we have this vacation coming up. They were too busy to do it. So today, you have to decide like, is it going to be, uh, are you gonna tell yourself another limiting belief? Or are you going to lean into your purpose, right? So now that you have the time, didn't have time six months ago, now you have the time, if you're letting that, you know, is it the right time thing be the thing? Or is, not, is now the time to be leaning into travel? Don't let that become the next thing that stops you from the thing that you wanna do, right? If this is real, that's the other thing too. Whenever I start about a business, never start a business that you're not super passionate about, right? I, I've done that. I can tell you from, from past history, I started businesses that were successful, but they almost killed me, right? because it was like so much work. I wasn't passionate. I started to hate it when I woke up every day. But travel for me, for me, whatever your thing is, right? Are you passionate about what you're gonna be doing every day? So if you are, that passion's not gonna go away. That little voice that taps you on the shoulder that says, why haven't you done this yet? Why aren't you doing this? When is enough enough? You know, you know that whole that whole thing. Whatever those things are that are tapping you on the shoulder, they're not gonna go away. The sooner you get started, the sooner you are going to have success. And here's the reality. You're gonna get the things done that matter most to you. So if you lean in and decide and make a decision to do it, you're gonna get it done. Did you eat dinner last night? Did you take a shower yesterday? Did you make sure your kids got to school? Yeah, because that crap matters. So if it means enough to you and you make that decision, you're gonna get it done, okay? So that's my little encouragement on uh, if answering the question, is it really the right time to be starting a travel business? I think it's an exceptional time. Um, so quick quiz though. Tell me below, what do you feel like is the number one personal like roadblock standing in your way? Is it mindset? Is it that you just don't know how to do it? Is it marketing? Is it sales? Is it overwhelm in the industry? Is it not knowing where to get started? I don't know what your roadblock might be. Whenever you're starting a new business, there's little things that, that can stop you. And as an entrepreneur, I always like to say, how do we get around it, over it, under it, buy it, right? Entrepreneurs don't get stopped by roadblocks. They figure out a way around. But just tell me. I'm going to go back and read uh, below in both YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to read every single comment. Um, but tell me what you feel like your roadblock is. And we'll get into, let's get into question number two. Should I leave my host? Ooh, what a taboo subject. The hosts hate when I talk about this. <laughs> they don't love when I talk about it. You guys know I am not loyal to any particular host. Uh, I think hosting can be a, a good thing if you're with the right host, especially when you're new. Um, but they're my end game for the clients that I work with is that they're really going independent eventually, meaning you're going to get 100% of your commission, meaning maybe you're going to grow your own team. You're going to have a really unique brand that you're proud of that's not under someone else's umbrella. So um, 
a, a lot of you, if you're in that experience camp, maybe you're sitting back going, oh my gosh, I had a lot of people cancel during the segment of time where the travel bans were on and people weren't traveling. Is it the time to make this shift and maybe go independent? So that's a big question and the answer is not the same for everybody. It's gonna depend on a couple different factors I want you to think about. So if you're hosting today, and you've had, I would say, at least a few hundred thousand dollars in sales in your career, um, and you're not depending on calling the host help desk on a regular basis, you go through either the vendors or you're self-directed in finding information, you know where to get answers, if you can say yes to those two questions, then potentially it could be time to be preparing to leave your host. And maybe exactly the right time because if you don't have a bunch of commissions at risk on the books, keep in mind every single host has a different uh, hiring agreement. This is something that we coach people on at nauseum in Careers on Vacation in our, in our mastermind program because picking the right setup is can set you up for huge failure or it can set you up for success or it can set you up for just a solid relationship until you're ready to go independent. Um, so check your contracts. I do believe that you should, you know, go by that contract that you signed and whatever you signed, uh, be accountable to that. Um, so you want to check that because some of them do have restrictions in there, but a lot of them don't, which is great. And you could be getting your infrastructure in place to get ready to transition away from your host and into your own business. Um, so that's stuff we help you with in careers on vacation. If you're looking to go down that road, I could create a five hour seminar on that. <laughs> um, but if you're thinking about it, I think your instincts are good if you're ready. If you if you have some decent sales under your belt, if you feel self-directed, you're not going to your host for a million questions, if you're ready to create your own custom brand, um, it's a good time because you can, when, you, when as the market's recovering, we're already making sales, right? You could be booking those sales under your agency and there's a lot of perks that come with having your own agency. One, 100% commission, but two, you have invitations that can happen, you can now create a team if you want to and you can can um, support them in their growth and that helps that's a whole nother revenue stream for you coming in if you're thinking about building a team so um, if that's on your heart and you're thinking about it I don't I think it's actually a good time if you're ready and it's, it's if you're ready is the question right all right let's go to the next question we're getting a ton of especially from you experienced agents what can I do to save 2020 all of you took a big hit uh, second and into third quarter on you know a lot of you had million dollars on the books this year for sales and then Disney closed that people can't even go on their trips if they wanted to go right or the travel bans came in if you're international your business was definitely impacted so what can I do to save 2020 and I'm gonna give you the tangible things that we've been working on that are already generating amazing sales in our agency and that are already in place to uh, have this uptick that that's happening going into third and fourth quarter what are the things you can do number one you need to get your marketing systems in place this is something as a lifelong lover of marketing a super marketing nerd I know I'm a nerd when it comes to marketing but I just freaking love marketing because it is the superpower that keeps your business growing and through this keeps it alive if you will we never stopped marketing the whole time. Did we shift our message? Of course we did. Of course we we're cognizant of what's going on in the world. That doesn't mean you stop building relationships. That doesn't mean you stop engaging your audience. That doesn't mean you stop uh, keeping your audience warm. So we never stopped cultivating this amazing base that we built through all of our marketing systems that have taken us years and years to build, right? Um, but what can you do now if you did stop? You need to boot back your marketing, right? So you need to kind of reboot that process, get your marketing systems in place. If you have, um, haven't have done real marketing before, you need to spend some time learning about marketing. If you have extra time right now, like the certificate, the free certifications you can get out in the industry are gonna be there. They're not going anywhere. That's great if you have extra time and you're doing those, but the difference between, there's like learning without earning mode, that's how I see like, you can take a million certifications on Tahiti and Bora Bora and Italy and uh, you know Japan or whatever you wanna learn about, but if you don't have a clients to sell that stuff to, 
you have knowledge, but you don't have profits. So how do you connect the dots on that? Put your learning time into learning marketing systems, okay? The marketing that works and converts in our industry. Yes, I know this is stuff we train you in careers on vacation, but even if you're not using careers on vacation, learn more about marketing. That is learning while earning. You can learn something about marketing today. You could go implement tomorrow and make a sale, okay? Um, where else can you be spending your time to uh, to help with 2020? Automation, if you've been trying to automate your agency, if you're a larger agency or you have a lot of uh, uh, agents that work for you like how can you make their lives easier through automation things like scheduling best practices client flow all of those things that happen your marketing systems is part of automation too how even right down to like how you designate leads in your agency how you pay commissions your payroll there's a million things you can look at if you're a larger agency that it's a perfect time to automate because there's less activity in your system. So you have time to test and calibrate. And then as things are uh, getting a little bit uh, bigger every single month, it'll, it'll be so much better. You'll be saving so much time. Automation is the thing that gets you your life back. So I'm a huge fan of automation. Um, and I mentioned be best practices. That's another thing. How, what's your best practice for sales? What's your best practice for cultivating a recurring client model? We talked about that at the top of uh, the call, right? Like having that recurring model. How, what is your best practice to cultivate that in your business? Do you even have one? Have you thought about it before? And guys, don't get overwhelmed if these are the first time you're hearing these things. That's okay. A lot of times that happens. I'm when when I'm getting questions on how I save 2020. It's it's from it's for that experience group that uh, obviously has. Uh, has been there. They're ready for these kind of techniques. The other thing is to think about is a video strategy. Have you thought about video strategy? I know this is like the hot buzzword right now and everyone's everyone's video strategy this, video strategy that. We've been training video strategy for years. This is nothing new where careers on vacation. If you've been in our mastermind programs, you know this. We have a video challenge that happens. But having a video strategy is the is so inexpensive. It actually it can cost your business zero dollars to implement it. Once you have best practice in place and nothing converts faster than a solid video strategy. So you should be thinking about how to start with that with your if it's a new travel business I don't care if it's brand new or if you're experienced and you just haven't done it yet it might be one of those things you could dive into that could get you instant or overnight results and this is this is such a good example because we have um, one of the trends I said this last week on the live stream that I've been seeing is veteran agents are getting outpaced in some cases by brand new agents just because they know how to market and reach the market share better and because they're employing great video strategy. So even though they haven't worked in the industry for a bazillion years, they're still employing expert positioning techniques. They're still able to reach the market. So they're making sales. But why is that happening? You'd say, well, if you have a veteran agent, why wouldn't they be making the sales? Well, a lot of times, um, and I know this too, like we have a solid core base that books and rebooks travel. But if you have, if you serve an audience that is not traveling right now, or primarily you have a, a large quantity of people in your database that are in that camp where they're not feeling like traveling in 2020, then all of a sudden your leads did dry up. Holy crap. What do you do? You haven't had to go out and fish for leads for years because you had did such a great job of building your recurring business model off of referrals. But that's gone. It's gone if, if you have that certain base. So that's why some of the veteran agents are coming to us now going, oh my gosh, Cindy, teach me this stuff. I need fresh leads in my business. I need to be booking sales. Here's the good news for you guys. No one has to teach you how to sell. No one has to teach you how to book a trip. You just need to connect the dots on marketing, implementing marketing systems, and then you have fresh blood coming into your business and it will feel better overnight, I promise. So for you veterans out there, if you're in that space, I understand, I hear you. I, I see the frustration on the feeds and um, kudos to you for building an amazing resilient business. Once you get some of these travelers though that are traveling right now, they're gonna become part of that amazing business too and you're going to be better for it, so don't give up. Um, so guys, I hope these questions were helpful for you. If you've been thinking about you know launching or growing your travel business, if you're one of those veteran agents that you're like, Cindy, show me the way, or you are thinking about starting an agency and you wanna make sure you do it the right way from the beginning, 
Think about applying for Careers on Vacation. If you haven't heard of Careers on Vacation, it is my 12 week uh, mastermind program. It's my signature program and it teaches you all of the stuff and detail what we talked about today, how to optimize your social media, how to get best practices in place, how to have that recurring business model, how to set up your marketing systems, all of that stuff. Careers on Vacation is also ASTA affiliated. ASTA is the American Society of Travel Advisors and we are an affiliated travel school with them. And the big difference, guys, about my program compared to anything else out there is you get access to my personal team of experts, my Facebook person, my messaging person, my branding person. You get to work with them, the same team that took my business from multiple six figures a year to six figures a month. That's the team you get to work with. Uh, and every single one of my coaches and mentors that works with you uh, side by side in the program actually works in a travel business or owns their own travel business. So these are industry veterans you get to work with whenever you're in our program too. The curriculum is completely self-paced. So if your kids are doing homeschool, you can be doing classes or you can do it on your time, but you have hands-on support as well. So if you're curious about it or if that resonates with you, definitely go over to YouTube and check out our 75 plus case studies. And right now during COVID, we have, we're filming one to two case studies a week, guys, of people who are in the program right now having success right now. I had someone post in our graduates group yesterday, holy crap, I've had $70,000 in sales since I graduated in June, right now in COVID. So is it possible? Yeah, it is, it absolutely is. People just like you are doing it every day. We have nurses in the program, teachers in the program, insurance agents in the program. We have people coming from other industries. We have travel agents who worked under a brick and mortar that has them laid off right now. So they're taking that time to start their own business. So wherever you are in your journey, if it's a fit, go to careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now, and you can apply and see if you can grab one of our fall spots for enrollment. And guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to go back and read all the comments in just a little bit. I respond to all of those over on Facebook and YouTube, but don't forget to like subscribe and ring that notification bell. We are here for you. I will be back next week. I wish you guys so much love, so much success. I wish you the world. Bye guys.